Welcome back everybody to Pickle Resellers. Uh, I'm Danny. Um, today is Thursday, October 1st. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for not being able to go live this week and haven't really put a, a video out also this week. Um, I've been under the weather, been feeling really, really bad. Uh, today's first day I've actually got to the shop this week. So, um, now last weekend, hit some good garage sales. Um, unfortunately, I rode my wife and I didn't think that I was going to actually find some stuff, so, but I did. So uh, I'm going to go through it real quick. Sorry, I wasn't able to get any footage. Uh, we did buy a GoPro, which Parker's going to, we bought the new GoPro. I just have nothing but trouble with uh, this GoPro 8 and uh, just don't like it. So hopefully it all gets better. But uh, yeah, so let me get through, get going with this. Uh, this stuff here, right in front of me, all the way here, um, I paid $70 for everything. Uh, I did have uh, seven nudie um, calendars from Playboy, which you know you can't sell adult stuff on eBay no more. So I actually sold them for $80. So now everything's profit and it was to a local buyer. Uh, I just got some sealed movies, uh, a bunch of sealed CDs and cassettes. Every one of them sealed. Um, then they got this Oric XL Professional Air Purifier. Um, I got these, uh, they're still sealed um, for VHS. I'm getting ready to hopefully next week list all my VHSs. So I have quite a few of these and I'm gonna, you know, throw one in with each deal to help uh, maybe boost it a couple dollars. Uh, found some drinking glasses from Golden Nugget and a shot glass from them as well. Um, a couple just odd games, com computer games, I believe. Uh, I've got a stack of sealed VHS. Um, some are duplicates. Uh, i got this little toy, shooter's Bible. Uh, this old wooden uh, fire truck. I don't know if, you, if it zooms in far enough, but uh, I haven't seen nothing like it, so I'll take a chance on it. And then like a Pluto upside down puppet and some paper items nothing fancy in here uh, a marks train engine not sure of the value um, so yeah I picked up all this here for seventy dollars plus this and I think this is pretty cool it it's a uh, like a picture but it looks like it was from a bullet and like somebody cut cut it out and made a picture out of it and you can kind of see where they didn't weld too good. So yeah, I picked all that up for 70. Already sold uh, some stuff for 80. So profit here from here on out. Um, then I bought, well, a friend of mine's moving and said, hey, you can come through and pick anything you want for free. So, and they were just gonna leave all this behind. So I have not tested any of the systems. There's a Wii, a PS4, a Nintendo, or a Wii U, and a slim PS2. And there's a whole bunch of PS2 games. And then I kind of sort them, Xbox regular, and then some PS3. I mean, nothing so far is jumping out at me, but there might be some good ones. And then uh, a couple loose games. Nothing, I don't think anything be too crazy excited about but uh like this zelda it should fetch about 30 to 40 dollars i mean there's some scratches but they don't look like uh, they'll stop it from working so unfortunately i can't test it because i don't have a gamecube but um there's more to go with the stuff that i got for free and i said i got it for free but I actually, um, I ended up giving her some money to help her out on her trip. Now, everything here, 
let's see we'll kind of go through it a little bit quick but everything on this table here uh we paid 80 dollars. i got a and they're all supposed to work i have not tested uh a blue nintendo or sorry a blue wii a fat playstation 2 uh, a playstation 3 xbox 360 and a regular playstation 1 got this bluetooth boss speaker some of those seem to do pretty well and then also this light um and then this tub here of like the controllers and the cords and stuff i paid 55 dollars for that we made that deal while my wife was looking at other stuff so we end up filling up this box which i believe is just clothes that, that would be her stuff yeah just some clothes like some leather jackets that seem to do pretty good um and a clothes basket and then we paid uh 25 for it so that made 80. um found these they're made by dayton they're actually heaters like you plug them in uh they both work as they said um and this uh i've got, seen somebody sell trying to get 50 dollars for one uh threw a baseball glove in there not sure if it's worth much uh like a doorbell ringer uh earbuds just some stuff that just look maybe a little older a refill ink i've never even seen these they sell for like 11 uh plus sh or free shipping i think this jbm thing it's not even open but i from what i researched on it it looks like it's like uh sparring gloves and knee pads for a little kid uh, then I like this piece here. It's like, uh, too bad it's not real gold. HB to CN. Uh, and then I just found a couple books I threw in. Um, and then I found this uh, JVC. Uh, but there's no battery charger. Uh, and it seems to sell pretty decent. And I honestly wasn't thinking it was going to be that very valuable but then they had all these cords and i thought well maybe that cord would be in there i gotta keep checking but I, as far as i re recall i did not see it um and then i got these two boxes i don't know if you can see that very good um i think these went for um like a bat i think these are like a baluster for like um, lights um but i got two boxes they're different kinds but they seem to sell for like $25 plus shipping a piece in that area. So I loaded up on that. And then there's a 3DS case that this DSi was in. Which, if you guys recall, um, I just bought a whole bunch of games for $30. And there's actually a, a red 3DS. I haven't listed them yet. I'm so slow and behind. Uh, a couple bats. Oh, uh, I'm... I did kind of look those up and those look like $10, $15, so I probably won't even mess with them. Um, Caterpillar Racing, Shot Glass. Um, they had a quarter on this, which back in the day, you'd put uh, water in this. If you got anything in your eye, then you stick that to your eye. Um, I actually had a couple, so I just kind of thought that was cool to keep. So, but, uh, and then this Minecraft set, which Parker's going to keep it and read it. And then if, if he wants to sell it after that, we will. And then got this really nice Chicago Bulls uh, street sign, which is Bulls back in the day were my favorite. I don't really follow basketball anymore. Um, there was also a PlayStation 1 uh, Batman Forever Arcade, and I looked it up, and just the game itself was selling for 80. So I put it on for $150 because all this stuff here I just showed you, we, we have $140 into the whole day. That was from um, the, the whole day with Sarah and even with that stuff, which, you know, over there I just showed you I was already in profit. But anyway, I put the game because I had the case and the cover and all that, put it on for $150, buy it now, make an offer. In two minutes, somebody offered me $140 and I took it. So, I mean, not counting the fees and stuff, but so basically we're, we're almost broke even already. We got some uh, old cabinet photos, which uh, when I was in Sydney about a month or so ago, I bought a whole bunch of cabinet photos so I can just add those to it. Um, and 
out of that 140 I also got these old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles haven't looked anything up yet which it's gonna be hard for me to because I'm a huge uh, turtle collector love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, and then there was another Wii and all those games uh, now in this here sorry there is a Wii Sports so good pick there um, cords I uh, got these Dre Beats but there is problems with the um, one of the headphones which I kind of thought maybe this would be good just to keep for the house uh, remote a game and so that was all for the 140 that we spent for the day um, and then I went to the Goodwill probably last Friday and of course I was actually being rushed because I had uh, I had to um, meet somebody to uh, talk about buying out a collection which if that goes through we'll have a video of that and I am going to take my dig on GoPro but uh, so I went into Salvation Army everything was half off um, there's a couple things that wasn't half off but I didn't get any um, all these movies are just sealed I do good with sealed movies if they're not worth putting on by themselves I put them back and then I'll sell them in a bulk lot um, this is brand new too it's the New York Giants uh, Super Bowl Championship and as you can see, it still has the little flinky, and it's still working. Uh, there's a mouse. I got this because we got an older computer, so I want, might use it. Uh, then I got this uh, Mickey Mouse bobblehead. It's pretty big. Uh, JVC and a Kenwood uh, unit. Um, I'm thinking like one was like $6.99 and one was $9.99. I think this was the $9.99 one, and this was the $6.99. Uh, and then just kind of got some stuff that hadn't been opened before or used. I like, I do like trying them. Uh, do good with these ink wells. Um, as you see, it was $3.99, so basically two bucks. And then this had a, had the Bible in it. Don't know if I'll make too much on that. That's probably about a $10, $15 item. Probably shouldn't have got it, but I was already doing so good. And then uh, just more stuff that was sealed. You know, maybe like in the $15, $20 profit. Um, bag full of uh, old trolls. If you know anything about trolls, the old trolls like just go ridiculous. And that bag was $5.99, so I paid half price. Um, there's just some figures and stuff that I, I just thought might be cool. And like I say, half off, $1.99, couldn't beat it. And then um, this clock. It just has all the keys and stuff, so I don't know if it works. I need to check it out. I just thought it was pretty cool. It may not even be worth selling. Uh, then this old kid's action, like, color thing. Um, who knows what it's worth. I just thought it was neat and old. And then I got... Uh, what are these? I got a Nintendo DS Lite. Nintendo DS. Did I say Lite? Yep. And another DS Lite. Um, now these actually these were in the $140 lot. I just don't have space So I apologize because I know I didn't say that those weren't it But uh, yeah, that's all we got for today um, Still fighting the flu like I said, so um, Hopefully next week when we put up uh, Tuesday's video, I'll be feeling a lot better and we'll have a better video um, As it stands I will not be going garage selling this weekend because I need to get myself taken care of so um, sorry about everything going on guys but uh, we uh, just want to thank you for your subscriptions your loyalty and um, you guys have a good weekend take care and uh, Parker should be able to have his Lego video up Saturday problem with that is we made a bunch of videotapes and we lost the memory card we have no idea where it went so that's why we Kind of, we, we lost a lot of old footage unfortunately which really stinks so I guess what how they say it, it is what it is um, but yeah if you haven't please hit the like and subscribe until next time everybody stay safe don't get sick like me and have a good weekend peace